Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss static data members or variables. But before that let us discuss how memory is allocated to data members and member functions whenever you create any object. Here you can see there are two functions and it will be common for all objects. So for member function memory is created when you define that function in your class specification. But in contrast member variable will hold separate memory location for each object here for object one we have allocated memory space for variable one and variable two now if you create other objects it will allocate separate memory location for both the variables because member variable will hold different value for each object memory is allocated whenever object is created now let us discuss static data members it will be useful when all objects of the same class must share a common information regular variable can be converted to static variable just by writing static keyword at the prefix of your variable and it will be initialized to zero before first object of the class is created only one copy is created for all objects so in our previous slide we have seen that individual copy or individual memory allocation is done for member variables but static variable will be allocated only once and lifetime of the static variable will be entire program so let us understand this concept with example here we are having class demo inside that we have created one static variable that is count here you have just declared variable count we need to define this static variable outside the class at the global region so you, here you have declared static variable and here we have defined the static variable how to define just variable name scope resolution operator and class name and its data type so static members are declared inside class and defined outside the class now it is initialized to zero because till object is not created so whenever you define it it will be initialized to zero here i am creating three objects d1 d2 and d3 so it will be like this all the objects will share this common count variable because it is of type static so if i create member function get count inside that i am incrementing the value of count and displaying it so if i call d1 dot get count it will be converted to one if i call d2 dot get count control will be here it will access the value of count that is one apply increment and it will be two if i call d3 dot get count it will read value two and apply increment and it will be three so for object d1 d2 and d3 this variable will be common why because it is a static variable suppose that count is a regular variable and if i create three objects it will allocate separate member variable count for each and every object and if i implement get count method i need to initialize each and every time count variable because static variable initialize automatically to zero but regular variable we need to initialize if i call d1 dot get count it will initialize it to zero then apply increment operation one if i call d2 dot count it will be initialized to zero and then apply plus plus if i get d3 dot get count it will be initialized to zero and apply plus plus so this is the method how static variable regular variable works let us write example code to understand this topic clearly here we are having class demo i am creating a normal variable count now if i want to convert this into static i just need to add keyword static inside the class i am creating one constructor with the same name and printing the incremented value of count here it will be c out so here we have declared static variable but now we need to define it outside the class so let us write the variable name it is count it is part of class demo so class name then scope resolution operator and before that we need to write data type of that count 
so it will be initialized to zero when you define the static variable now let us create one object d1 so whenever object is created it will automatically call constructor demo and it will print incremented value of count so let us execute this code it will be one if i create more object like d2 and d3 if i execute this program it will increment the count variable one by one and it will share the common value let us convert this variable to normal variable now count is normal variable so we need to initialize whenever the constructor is called so let us initialize it to zero it will display values in the case of static variable you can initialize the static variable at the time of definition let us initialize this here so if you don't write anything it will initialize to zero or you can give initial value also next let us discuss static member functions static member functions can access only static members of the class and static member functions can be invoked using class name not object so there is no need to create object to call static member functions so we can use static member functions when you want to initialize some static data members before creating any object and there cannot be static and non-static version of the same function so if you have created any static function like set data so you cannot make a regular function named set data further properties like it cannot be virtual it cannot be declared as constant or volatile and static member function does not have this pointer this will we will discuss in our further video lectures so let us see the example code for static member functions here we are having class demo inside that i am creating one static data member it is i so let us define it in outside the class here we are having variable i it is part of class demo and its type is integer it will be automatically initialized to zero when it is defined now i want to create one member function that is set data inside that i am passing argument x and i am setting data for variable i over here now if i want to make this member function static i just need to put static keyword prefix to that let us create one more member function that is so it will be displaying the value of our static variable i as we discussed that static member function can be invoked without creating any object so we can directly invoke static member function with class name and scope resolution operator so i am passing here value 100 over here so i am initializing static data member i before creating the object let us create object and through that object i am calling member function so that will display the value of our static variable. let us compile and execute this code it will be displaying the value of our static data member so this is how static member function works thank you